cracking fighters. You can jab and I can kick and I can hit you from this distance. Second of three three-minute rounds. Quarter-final K1 and Phillips tries a booming left hand that didn't get through and a spinning back kick as well. And then starts to hold on and grapple. I think Phillips is throwing some of these techniques just out of desperation at the moment. Um, the spinning back fist needs to be thrown, but the, there needs to be some kind of target there. John White again tries to pick him off and comes with that knee, and he's used his knee to good advantage, uh, John White. Wolverhampton man, with a huge height and reach advantage, front kick as well. But very little kicking from either boxer. No, that's right. And he's telling him again, leaning to the groin is not allowed. I think John needs to be on his toes a bit more and just start flicking that jab out at first and, and just getting the feel of it. Oh, good work to the body though, and he's got him, he's in trouble, Rod Phillips is in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh, the there. He's, got, he's watching it, John Blackledge. He won't let it go on too long, but back he comes and he's just grappling and holding on for the sake of it. The referee won't allow that. Oh, he's, he's breathing really through his, He's breathing through his backside there, he isn't he? He's really tired. I think if one clean shot, he's going to go down, Tom. But you can't fight at this level and not be fit. No, no. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I didn't really want to take part in it. I'm not getting paid to take part in it, but uh, invited by Rod Phillips to join in, then we were. I don't think um, it'll go much after this round, Tom, to be yeah. honest. Um, he's really tired. And if John can just step back and look at it now, I think um, it'll be an end to the fight. And there he goes. And he's struggling even to get up. But... Yeah, it takes a lot out of you to keep getting up. I mean, he's, he's, he's a large frame. Oh, I mean, no rhyme or reason to his attack. Is the Dean, to be perfectly honest? No, not at all. He's really tired he's now. John needs to just pick his shots. And his eyes swollen, oh, he's walked into that jab, and then he's got a side to the head. And he's got another one right in front of us, and another knee. And it's the over. Ref, the, ref the ref stopped it because it's a mismatch. His eye, left eye is puffed up, and to be fair, was always on the back foot, never fit enough to cause John Wyatt a problem. No, John, John got the measure of him. Um, if perhaps John could have just stepped back and looked at him a bit more and just picked him off a bit instead of getting drawn is into it, a bit of a fight with him. Is it fair, though, to say that Phillips made John look a bit untidy? He did, yeah. Yeah, we know John could really fight. So John Wyatt goes through to the semi-final of this K1 Last Man Standing Battle of Britain contest. And he also a step closer to Las Vegas and the qualifying round of the K1 Grand Prix 2002. The official verdict now from John Blackledge and the MC Mike Goodall. Referee calls both fighters to the centre for this third quarter-final. Oh, a bit of Ed Button here going K1, on. Battle of Britain, and already it's ready to start now. And Sean Johnson won't put up with that, that's for sure. I think it was a bit of a 50-50 there, Tom. A little bit of needle, and he can't wait. He's sent back. Oh, this should be some fight. Quarter-final, K1, last man standing, Battle of Britain. Semi-final place up for grabs. First round, three three-minute rounds, and Demetrius straight in. In the white shorts, Sean Johnson. In the yellow shorts, the far more experienced of the two, but Demetrius, when I interviewed him before, was very, very uh, confident. 
Don't know much about Demetrius, uh, Tom. He started very, very fast. Quick hands. Oh, good kick from Sean Johnson. But quick hands again from Simon Demetrius. And he looks focused, that's for sure, but both boxers do. Oh, a good low kick from Demetrius. Good low kick. The referee will stop them. Roughly separates them. South Porton. Yeah. And both men in good nick. Good kick from Sean Johnson. He's the current Waco World Super Heavyweight Kickboxing Champion. Demetrius, the European Heavyweight Kickboxing Champion, ISKA. Looks a good stone difference in weight. Yeah. Oh, good kick there, nearly took him off his feet with Sean Johnson. But Sean has the ability to, to kick, punch, and never take his eyes off him. Oh, no, Sean can switch from low kick to high kick. There you go. And a that good kick a good as well. Kick there. If you look, Demetrius is already trying to block Sean's kicks with his hands, which is a, a very bad mistake, because Sean will kick over the guard and kick high to the head. Not much use of the knees yet. Oh, good shot from Johnson again, a right court, Demetrius. Whenever I've seen Johnson before, I've always been impressed with his guard as well. He's always a neat and tidy guard. Yeah, he's a well-schooled fighter, sure. Mm -hmm. Very experienced with 68 fights, 61 wins, 7 defeats. And 38 of those 61 wins by way of knockout. Mitchell uh, seems to be playing in his fist a little bit and his guard goes way down. Yeah, lots of energy without direction. That's right. Is the blood from Sean's nose? I think there might be. Yeah, there's a little um, little nosebleed. Nothing in this game, though, Tom. Demetrius clinging and trying to use the knee to the body. That was the first knee we've seen. Seen, absolutely. Oh, just a touch of afters there. And a little yeah, leaning a bit to of needle other. going on here, isn't there? Oh, livens everything up, that's for sure. And here comes the referee, telling his corner he can't have three men on the corner. One man on the apron, one man in the ring. But Demetrius looks up for it. John Blackledge gets him together for the second round. Second of three three-unit rounds. K1. And one of the strengths with Sean Johnson, that I've seen a, a few times, is his ability to bounce back. His counter-punching's excellent. When he gets hit, he comes straight back at you. Yeah, Sean's starting to work on Demetrius' leg now, and he's, uh, the power's just uh, throwing him off balance. Oh, yeah, he's got big legs, though, hasn't he, Sean Johnson? Huge, Huge legs, legs, yeah. Look, look at the inside of Demetrius's right leg. Very red already. Yeah. I think Sean's got a little um, mouse on the right eye as well, Tommy, if you can look there. Yes, he has. Blood coming from Demetrius' nose now. I wasn't sure whether that was from his or from... Sure. No, just think, in the cage. I think it is now, yes. Yeah, it's from uh, Simon's now. Look at the guard of Demetrius, it's so low. And again, grappling in toes in the knee, used by Sean Johnson. Look how low his guard is. It's very, almost very inviting low. the tag. Yeah. If you want to throw that head kick up and catch you without... Uh, his mouth bleeding as well, I think. Demetrius. Oh, good kicking from Sean Johnson. Making it tell on the legs, and he gets through there. 
But Demetrius very quick on the, you know, quick fist. Yeah, he is. He's surprising Sean with a few uh, few shots that he lets off very, very quick, and then he's he's gone. You don't want to take too many, you know, head scars in in the quarterfinal because you've got a semi-final to come anyway. That's right. Yeah, Sean just calling him on there. So um, both fighters are up for it. There's a bit of needle going on between the two fighters. Obviously.